Hello you lovely people, welcome back to my channel and as you know by the heading already guys yeah it's another unboxing and look at of another fantastic Ambernec console guys a handheld system emulation dream and uh, yeah I'm calling it the little brother of the RG351P and this one's gorgeous guys it might be a little brother but it's gorgeous it's running in Dingux so it's a bit different operating system as well but it's gorgeous it's the metal version guys of the RG28M oh it is beautiful 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 um yeah guys we're going to take a look at that in a sec we're going to unbox it have a look at what is on there when you first get out of the box uh, I've filmed this in reverse, guys, so I've already done that bit. Um, that's why I can tell you how gorgeous it is. And uh, it all goes to pots, I warn you now. Uh, there was barely any battery in the actual machine. Uh, usually they're well stocked already, aren't they, when they come out of the box, there's already loads of charge in them. But it's fine, guys, because we just want to have a quick flit on there and just see what was there. None of the emulators would load up because it needs some tinkering, even out of the box, guys. Um... But that is all irrelevant. It doesn't matter that that happened because in part two, when it when I've made it, um, I'm going to have custom firmware it by then and show you everything working 100% better. Because as usual, guys, when they come out of the box, they're good enough to just get on with it if you don't want to tinker with it. If you don't want to custom firmware it, they're always perfect just to come out of the box and play. This one obviously needs a bit more tinkering. Um, because, like I said, guys, I think I had to find um, like the pathways for the ROMs and things. Nothing was booting up, but we shall see in a part two. Once it's been diddly diddled and, and working wonderfully, shall we say, guys. Um, yeah, fantastic. Smaller form factor, but beautiful in its aluminium glory, guys. But yeah, we're going to get to that in a sec, guys. I just want to uh, say something here. Um because I keep forgetting, guys, to mention it at the end of my video. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to do it at the beginning of my video, guys. Um, you've still got time at the moment to jump on to, if you go into my library, onto my uh, giveaway, guys, um, for this little beauty here. That is the giveaway. It's the 700 sub giveaway. I'm now on 710, which is brilliant, brilliant. So, yes, guys, if you want a chance of winning this, just head over to that video, and it doesn't matter where in the world you are, head over to that video, and as long as you are subscribed, and comment on that giveaway video, guys. Just that video alone, just one comment per person, and then you have got a chance. And I do believe it's probably about another week, uh, we're going to draw the winner, and uh, yeah, I will get this to you no matter what. You will be the winner of this beautiful C. 64 mini oh, it's a beautiful machine and it could be yours so yeah that was the one thing guys i wanted to mention then i also wanted to mention guys that um for ages and ages now i've had a, a facebook group guys the uk kraut facebook group if you want to head over there and join in there's loads of the other guys, uh, my friends here on YouTube that have channels as well that post on there and what have you. We can have discussions, you can talk to me direct and what have you. So if you want to head over to Facebook, just look up UK Kraut Gaming Facebook group and please just join. Join and uh, we can all start making a fantastic community over there. At the moment I've got, I think it's about 60 people in the group. And I would like to see a hell of a lot more, guys. It would be brilliant if you could all head over there and join. So that's all I wanted to mention, guys. So I think it's time to take this. Oh, is it upside down again? Yeah, upside down again. To take this little bugger and unbox it. And see what you get in there, shall we? In the beautiful Ambernick. Let's get this right again, guys. RG28OM. The RG. 280M, M standing for metal, and I don't mean heavy metal. <laughs> right guys, back in a sec.
Right guys, so as I said, in this video we're just going to unbox it and take a look at what is installed out of the box if you like. Well, you've actually got to add one element to it that is in the box already with it um, to be able to do that. But I'll show you what I mean. So here we go guys, again, Ambernick. Oh, their boxes are straightforward and simple, just with illustrations on them, but they're kind of... Um, minimalistic beauty if you like i do love their boxes of course there's the front again guys with its branding and model number the rg 280m metal the m stands for metal so this is going to be literally oozing quality guys i can tell you that now there's the front then spin it around a bit so you can see it the right way around. There's one of the sides where it tells you all about the buttons and even gives you a clue how to escape there. There we go. Because of course, this is running a Dingo type of um, uh, software on it. It's not like uh, some of the other Ambernic uh, consoles. Oh yeah, there we are. And there's your, your bits and bobs for your information there. And that side just shows you a picture. Again, an illustration. And there, just more bits and bobs and your colour and stuff like that. This is the black version. Just a straightforward black. Now, there is a version called King Kong Black as well. But I don't know if there's a difference between the two. I'm not too sure. And that is just plain snowy white. Yeah, there we are. So, yeah, that is it, guys. That is your box, basically. And a lovely thing it is again. Right, so, shall we unbox it then? Now, funny enough, normally... They sealed these boxes. They have two stickers like that on each end, but this one not. No, this one was quite, quite loose like that, but it came very well packed from Amazon. I have to say, there's just your, your empty lid there, so we'll put him aside. Right, and of course, here we go, guys. Again, fantastic packaging. You can't fault them for this, guys. They always put this big old bit of foam on top to protect it. Because we're going to pull the unit out a minute and put him aside a sec. There we are, put him aside a minute. But there you get your hard tray again, which again is a fantastic thing that they actually put that in there to secure everything. So yeah, nice and hard again. All about the protection, it's brilliant. Here we go again with your cable. Um, they're actually very nice, these cables. They're a very nice cable. They're, um, you know, mini C. So they're nice and modern as well. So yeah, brilliant, nice bit of length on them. Yeah, they are really, really nice quality. So right, put that aside as well. What else do we get? Right, well, what else do we get? Yeah, I'll tell you what else we get. A 32 gig memory card in a little case and that is absolutely ram packed full of ROMs. Very naughty really but fantastic if you don't want to mess about and just want to stick it in and get going and that's the thing I was talking about that you're going to have to add to your machine in a minute to actually get it to do anything. Well unlike some of the other Ambonic uh, models guys um, I'll show you in a minute, actually. I'm uh, jumping ahead here, but I'll show you in a minute. Right, so yeah, you get that as well. So that's fantastic. And then you just get two books. And that is your lot. One is a quick start guide. There we go. And the other one is a full guide, they call it. But funny enough, I do believe that the quick start guide is actually bigger than the full one. So let's, let's have a look at the guides anyway. They're actually usually quite nice, quite um, you know informative as much as they need to be really. 
Uh, where are we? Which way around? Oh, there we go. So yeah, all your bits and bobs are on there. As you can see there. So yeah, wicked. Back. Hey. So yeah, everything you, you need to get you going is there. So that's good. And then of course, as I say, they've got a quick start guide as well, which I actually do believe probably has more info on it than the full guide, as you can see here. <laughs> it's got a lot more on it, guys, which is quite funny considering, well, it's meant to be the quick start guide. But nevertheless, there we are. <laughs> nice to have it. Yeah, and it's not your usual crappy toilet paper. So yeah, brilliant. All right, so let's leave that aside as well and pull in this little beauty. Now we're going to leave him handy, the old memory card. So as you can see, guys, you get this bag, which is nice. I'm going to take him out of the bag. These are always good quality bags as well, worth keeping. You never know when you want to stick it in there again, maybe if you're moving house or something. Always keep your boxes, if you're a collector particularly. I don't think I need to tell you that though. So yeah, there we go, that's the bag. And then, yeah, like I say guys, always this bit of foam. On top, nice, thick bit of foam. Right now, this is where the quality is just going to shine, guys. Because, like I said, the M stands for metal. And I can tell you now, guys, this has got some fantastic weight to it. And it's absolutely gorgeous. That stick is perfection again. Again, the same stick that they would use in a switch. Brilliant buttons, just enough travel. Oh, deep had to kill for. Oh, they, they, they are just fantastic. So, what have we got on the front here, guys? Well, we have, of course, all your action buttons here. We have your start and select there. That beautiful analog and a great, lovely, great, lovely, oh, whatever, D pad. I like the way on this model it has changed to silver. On the uh, 350, it was in orange, and a lot of people hated that, but that is very stylish looking, makes the console look fantastic. And on top, guys, you've got your shoulder buttons, dual again. Oh, very clicky again. Very, very nice. And then you got a, yeah, you got your OTG. See you there. Headphone jack. And then another, um, yeah, another uh, mini C, but it's for the charger only on this one. Of course, on uh, other models, it can be a combo one. But that is, uh, yeah, that is pretty damn lovely. Yeah. On the bottom, guys, you've got stereo speakers. Yeah, and they are very, very loud, apparently. I haven't heard them for myself yet, but reset button in the middle. Now, this sticker, guys, I'm going to leave mine on because that is actually an SD slot there, but it's for the card that holds all of the... Uh, firmware and um, so I'm going to leave it on there until I custom firmware it then I'll probably take it off carefully they're like a pig to get off but I'll get it off and because I want to put a 64 gig um no I don't want to put a 64 gig card in there what a div no the, th that is going to stay on guys I'm not going to change that at all so yeah that sticker can stay there I don't need to worry about getting it off plank well unless I want to put a custom firmware on there of course and um, because the ROMs and everything like that goes into this one here so yeah that is your other sd slot so you've got two sd slots one for the operating system and one for all your your files or your roms and what have you but yeah i got completely and utterly gibberished there and um, yes i will be taking that off in the end to put the custom firmware on that micro sd card oh dear me there's no hope Especially when you have these many, you know, this many um, of these kinds of handhelds, guys. Yeah. And then 
Here guys, you've got your power on and off, just there. Lovely, lovely. And then here is your volume rocker, up and down. That's lovely as well. Nice, I hate it when they have the screen ones. I, I don't like that guys, where you have to, you know, do it with the buttons here and it's uh, just on the screen. So yeah, lovely. And the back again guys, the quality of this thing is just oozing out. You've got those pads again to stop it sliding in your hand. You've got all the bits and bobs of information in the middle. Now, some people don't like that. I actually like it. I like the way that looks. I've always liked that on Nintendo DS's and what have you as well when it's on the back. I think it's smart looking with them on. But that's just me. <laughs> but yes, guys. Obviously, now we're going to need to combine the two and have a look what is provided on this machine out of the box so yes we're gonna have to marry those two up aren't we right i'm gonna do that off camera guys and uh, we'll be back in a sec right guys let's see if he's got any charge in it to uh, at least have a very quick look at it as i say this one is powered by dingooks so there you go, it tells you there straight away, look. On the screen. And then it goes in, as you can see, very different kind of menu to, uh, yeah, the RG uh, 351P. Different operating system. But of course, this is what you get in the box. Um, I will be putting a custom firmware on it as soon as possible, and then we'll be doing a part two of what the differences are so as you can see here guys all these different bits and bobs here which i'm not even going to attempt to go into at the moment we want to get to the emulators don't we because that's what we're interested in so yeah with the shoulder button there guys you can click over so uh let's have a look at game boy shall we what have we got on here right so we can get that focused in a bit better for you there we go, that's a little bit better. Uh, straightforward Game Boy. Yeah, let's have a look. Have we got... Have we got, have we got... Tetris anywhere? That's what I want to know. Try and pull it into the viewfinder a bit more. Not sure what we got here, guys. So we're just going to play a random one, I think. Yeah, go for that, whatever it is. Oh, right, okay. What happened there, I wonder? I'll go for Bugs Bunny then. It's just going to keep kicking out, is it? Hmm. Am I pressing the wrong button there? No, that takes you back. Okay, then. So we'll go back in again. And we'll try again. With B maybe? No, I'm going to there, yeah. No, I don't know what the hell's going on here. Hmm. Right, okay, so we won't be doing that then. <laughs> oh, talk about, uh, yeah, kicking the teeth straight away. Right, let's go down to, okay, then Mega Drive, Genesis, or whatever. You know what, I think maybe it just isn't set up yet. Who knows, eh? Are we going to be able to play anything here at all, are we? Is it going to do anything? No, it's just going to keep kicking back. Oh dear. Right, back out again. Yes, this is very odd. Hmm. It has to be said. Where are we going to go here? Right, okay. Well, this is because, of course, this is the first time I'm ever playing it. So that doesn't help matters, does it? So it looks to me like absolutely nothing's set up. And maybe that's a good thing, because, as I said, I want to put custom firmware on here. And, uh, yeah, you know, maybe it's just for the best guys to, uh, yeah, avoid... Avoid it as it comes out of the box. Oh, and it's just turned off on me, guys. So, anyway, you had a look, a little look there at what you, uh, yeah, you're going to be facing once you turn it on, um, when you first get it out of the box, guys. Um, 
Yeah, it wasn't much of a tester, was it? Because now it's turned off on me. Uh, obviously, didn't have a lot of charge in it. But guys, don't worry, because I am going to be putting a custom firmware on there. And I think all of that is going to be quite irrelevant. But I can tell you one thing. Um, if you want to just keep it as it is when it comes, that SD card, once you've worked out whatever the hell I couldn't work out just then quickly, um, you're going to have thousands and thousands of games on there ready for you just to play. Obviously, you might need to do a little tinkering to get them going because obviously nothing was booting up, was it? So there might be a case of you have to find the wrong path or something like that. So that was quite um, a funny one, actually, that it did kind of go wrong for me then because it shows you what could happen to you when you first get it. So give me some time with it, guys, and then we'll come back to it. You know, maybe a day spent tinkering with it and then I will be back. But this was mainly about an unboxing anyway, guys, an unboxing and a look at the quality of this Ambernic. Uh, and I, again, guys, I just can't tell you how lovely this is. Again, oh, just beautiful. And the quality of the uh, metal used is fantastic and it's so precise and the finish on it is just fantastic. It's got that lovely grip to it yeah and even you know where the metal meets here um is just incredible the finish on it is beautiful there is no two ways about it but yeah we had a little bit of a whack wow moment but in a way it's irrelevant because it was an unboxing and a look at the machine and such and at least you got to see it booting up and uh, what you're going to be facing when you get it so yeah give me a day guys and i shall be back with a part two but anyway, guys, that just leaves me with the usuals. If you're not subbed already, please drop me a sub. Give me a thumbs up. And of course, tap the bell icon on the all icon to get any notifications. And again, guys, linked below, you will find my Patreon page if you want to head over there. Have a look at the video about why I set it up and decide if you're going to join me on my Patreon journey or not. And with that, I'm going to love you and leave you. And so, Vinazine, tschüss, and goodbye, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye, guys.